My Sanctuary's head was sideways as the starter said go, but she came out well enough. Only a half a length off them. Now Luxardo bounces out. Racketeer was slow out about three parts of a length. The grey Luxardo's in front. Mr. Whatever paces it on the inside. My Sanctuary. Racketeer and show me the way. There's only two and a half lengths top to tail. The grey Luxardo, but now Mr. Whatever moves right up alongside and Mr. Whatever could even put his nose in front. Raconteur, my sanctuary. Show me the way gets a couple of encouragements towards the outside. Coming to the 350 meter marker and Mr. Whatever still travels. Luxardo's under the drive. Raconteur on the inside. My sanctuary. Show me the way now as they come to the last 250. Luxardo looks to come back for more. Mr. Whatever's on the inside and my sanctuary's trying to get going. Show me the way. Mr. Whatever digs down though. And Mr. Whatever, that's the call out here. Mr. Whatever's going to stop the clock. From my sanctuary in second, show me the way, Raconteur and Luxardo. Well, this is his game, Mr. Whatever. 1,000 meters, Anton Marcus up, and the son of Magok. He's got his problems, but he's got plenty of talent. You can see he's lightly raced. He's only had the nine runs now, but look at that record. Four victories and the three placings, and Mr. Whatever, when he puts it together, he certainly does with authority. He wins at another Magok on the day. Back in second goes to my sanctuary. Show me the way, and then Raconteur and Luxardo. Coming to the 300, and Mr. Whatever travelled strongly. Luxardo tried to come back for a brief while. Raconteur in my sanctuary. But once Anton Marcus gives him the full go-ahead, Mr. Whatever he just continues to go, and he stays on for the victory out here. Nice individual. He's done well for the connections, and he comes home to win his fourth career contest. They paid 160,000 rand for the son of Magok, and he's now shot way past those earnings. Well, Mr. Whatever, the four-year-old son of uh, Magok, giving, giving uh, the stallion Magok a, a really lovely day today at uh, Scottsville. And, of course, uh, the lunge, and of, well done to all the owners here. And uh, Pat and Lloyd have always rated this individual. He, he, he won a hat-trick in his career, and uh, for a horse to do that, he's certainly no slouch. And nice to see him come back to his best this afternoon. Let's have a chat with Anton first, Pat, if you don't mind. Anton's here, and Anton's got to sit on this horse for the first time in his career Pacing it out with uh, that horse Luxador early, and uh, this horse kept on all the way to the line. A good win. It was, and he did these. Firstly, you know, I've just got to say a big thank you to Lloyd and to Pat. You know, Lloyd phoned me four weeks ago mm. and told me that he was yeah, marking this race. You know, so I guess really real. Big kudos to, to Pat and to Lloyd. How do you jump off and, and tell the owners and, of course, Pat, that he's a lovely horse? He is. He's just so genuine and so honest, you know. Um, a real five furlong specialist, I think. Anything else left from your side, uh, Anton? Because I got choir maiden. I thought it was a very strong race. Initially, I was actually supposed to be on Alistair's horse. Mm. Um, but she came in with a light weight. And then Alistair gave the ride away, and the weights went up, you know. So actually, I was on her first, but she's got to have some kind of a chance. And uh, I don't know too much about God's horse in the last. How's the injury going? How's things uh, in the mornings? And how, how's Anton Marcus? No complaints and very happy days. Thanks for that. Thank you. Lovely. Let's get uh, Pat in. You always thought highly of the horse, and uh, you, you picked out a nice race for him, competitive race. There were a few scratchings, but he's beaten a decent field. Yes, you know, he, he won well, then he went off a little bit when he ran that nowhere in that uh, Toll Breeders' Day. Mm. Um, got him right, said to the owners, I wor worked him on Tuesday. I said to Lloyd after he worked, I said, that's the best I've ever seen him work. Yes. And we just kept him ticking over from Tuesday. It didn't work, just canted him slowly, kept him fresh, jumping out of his skin. And uh, today he showed it, you know. I think he's a good far furlong horse. Yeah, it looks that way, looks yeah. that way. Pat, uh, anything else left? Um, I've got preamble on the last. That's, that's got a place chance. Thanks for that. I'd like to thank the owners for their patience. Those horses, you know, it costs quite a bit with the vest to keep them tuned up. Yes. But uh, their patience is, uh, I thank them very much. Well done. Who are we going to have a chat to? Let's have a chat to one of the owners. Come through, sir. Well done to the guys. And uh, let's have a look at Frank. Well done. Thanks very much, Dees. 
Obviously, I'd like to thank Pat and uh, Lloyd for a wonderful job and Anton taking the right to the partners, Bruce Warren, Steve Fury, Peter Bentley, Kaylee Bentley. Lovely ride and very nice horse we have on our hands here. Looks that way now. You know, people go to racing their entire careers looking for that one win and this horse gave you three in a row. You reel off the hat trick. Yes, and uh, we knew then, being a Stormbringer's full brother, we knew we had a good horse. And his last start uh, wasn't a bad run behind Coffee Shake, and of course, the, you know, just reading in between the lines, uh, he seems to be putting up some good work back home. Yes, uh, well, we leave it to the trainer, eh? you know, we're not the experts. Well, well done to yourself and your partners, and may you go from strength to strength. I'd like to thank Bushel Stud, where the, the mayor stands, the dam. Uh, they did a wonderful job in beating the horse. Well, there's plenty of champagne for all the owners to enjoy. Thank you. Lovely. Well done to Frank Rowe there. And, of course, number three, Mr. Whatever, has come through to win it with jockey Anton Marcus. And if you caught the score, Ted, the numbers you'll need will be three, seven, one. It got pretty tight for that fourth place, and it's gone to number two. So three, seven, one, and two. Your provisional result, race number seven. Coming up next will be race number eight, closing off this afternoon's jackpot.